For more information about the updates and aftermath of the deadly earthquakes that rocked Turkey and Syria, joining us now on the line is the Regional Chief of Advocacy and Communication at the UNICEF Middle East and North Africa Regional Office, Amar Amar. Good evening, Mr. Amar. Thanks for joining us. Good evening. Thanks for having me. As I'm sure you're aware, the world is distraught over this natural disaster affecting our brotherly countries in Turkey and Syria. Can you please elaborate on the current situation on the ground there? Well, first of all, um, sincere condolences for the victims and speed recovery for all those who are injured. Um, it is a heart-wrenching tragedy what we are seeing unfolding in front of our um, eyes these days. Uh, thousands of people killed, and many of those are children. Um, tens of thousands of others have, have this place to safer uh, places and areas seeking safety away from their damaged homes. And all of which under extreme weather conditions, you know, the, the temperatures have dropped almost to the top zero. At the same time, it was raining, it was snowing in parts of the country, and these families and kids had to leave, you know, with nothing on them but their clothes that they have woke up on during the, the earthquake. They need a, a, a emergency uh, support. They need emerging. Excuse me. They need emergency support in terms of water, in terms of uh, child protection, health, and nutrition. Um, they are as well in urgent need of uh, blankets, of warm clothing, of hot meals, and medication. So the situation is really dire, and there should be immediate response to to, to really cater to their emer to, to their urgent needs. And tell us a bit, what are the main areas or regions that were most affected by the earthquakes and the aftershocks? Well, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the earthquake um, um, main damage wa were like more or less in Aleppo uh, in, 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 uh, and in Idlib and as well in, in other neighboring governorates um, and in, in Latkia, for instance. And there are some areas that have witnessed like really widespread destructions. Many families are still under the rubble. We are seeing, you know, the research and rescue teams um, on TV. They are trying their best, you know, to, to, to rescue who are still um, trapped over there. And we can only allude and, and commend their sacrifices under such hard conditions that they are working um, under. And we can only as well call for more and more support for them to be able to continue saving lives. Before you go, I wanted to talk a bit about how the international community is exerting tremendous efforts in response to this crisis as rapidly as possible. Can you talk a bit about the latest developments regarding efforts to mobilize support? Definitely. You know, like in Syria, um, the needs were massive. The humanitarian needs were massive before the earthquake. We have been working there for more than a decade, supporting people and children. Um, and as, as I mentioned, in the field of health, nutrition, education, and other areas. So two-thirds uh, of the population, including 7 million children, needed assistance before the earthquake. Now, at the, uh, with the earthquake, these needs have have tripled and and it is massive while the funding remains the same and actually we were underfunded for already for our operations before the earthquake so what we are asking now the international community um the the um, the public the private the good people of kuwait since we are speaking to you now in kuwait to really extend and the people of kuwait are known for their generosity and helping others to extend a helping hand to support their brothers and who are really affected and the children who are really affected by this catastrophic crisis at the UNICEF as well. We are calling for support. They can visit our website and um, on, on the Middle East and North Africa website, our Gulf UNICEF website and links and social media, and they can see how they can support our efforts to really to respond to the urgent needs of the children in Syria. Regional Chief of Advocacy and Communication at the UNICEF Middle East and North Africa Regional Office, Ammar Ammar, thank you for your time.